This week I needed to create an article for one of my blogs on a topic that I didn't have a lot of interest in and I didn't care a lot about it, so I decided to create it with AI tools. Moreover, I decided to use two AI tools and check out which one is better. In this video, I'll be using one prompt and two different AI text generators, Copy AI and Article Forge. I'll compare their user experience, pricing, and the quality of the output, and at the end of this video, we'll just see which one's better. Let's go! Welcome to this product battle. I'm Anna, I have several blogs and I need to create a lot of content daily. I've been using Copy AI for some time, but as my subscription is coming to an end, I decided to explore other options. I heard a lot of good things about Article Forge, so I decided to explore this tool. I invite you to watch this video until the end so you don't have to spend time comparing these tools yourself. And before we start, remember that's an honest review. I'm not getting paid by any of these companies and I hope you guys appreciate that because I actually have the privilege of speaking my mind. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sign up for Article Forge. After you subscribe, that's their welcome screen. I actually like that a lot. And here's why. It basically teaches you how to get your prompts right. There are examples of good keyword, bad keyword, and they all make a lot of sense. And they actually help a lot because I haven't seen other tools that educate you on the uh, on prompts and how to get them right. Their examples of instructions are mind-blowing. It's pretty simple, but uh, a lot of us are struggling with creating the right instruction for the right keyword. And you know, it's always tricky. I like the user interface so far, but now I'm gonna create the article using the instructions from Article Forge. The article I need to create is titled Ralph Lauren versus Polo. So that's the main keyword that I'm targeting. And it's supposed to differentiate between the two brands. I'm just gonna leave Ralph Lauren versus Polo. What's the difference as my main keyword? and I will add instructions as per their <laughs> instruction. So I spent some time generating this prompt and I basically wanted to uh, create an article about two brands, uh, Ralph Lauren and Polo, describe the history of each brand, how they emerged and when they emerged, then describe the style, unique characteristics, and then answer whether quality from both brands is the same. Next, I wanted to talk about the pricing differences between them and provide three examples of similar pieces and comparing the price and quality from both brands. Next, I want my article to be a long one and I actually prefer articles from 2000 words, but a very long works for me so far. And I wanted to avoid AI detection. There are actually a lot of useful features there and adding an image or a video would be great. I just don't really need it. And I also absolutely love that it allows you to post content directly to WordPress. So I created a nice long prompt. And while Article Forge was generating its version of this blog post, I'm going to use Copy AI and see whether it will generate the same results. I'm actually very interested and excited how these results would be different. I mean, they both will be created with AI and I assume Article Forge is using ChatGPT4 uh, for their internal engine. Um, with Copy AI, I'm really not sure. I guess they're using something different because they can easily analyze uh, search engine result pages. But nonetheless, I just copy the same prompt and I want it to be more than 1500 words. So let's see whether the results will differ. I have to tell you, that's probably the first time I'm getting a result that is that good. Previously, when I tried to create a long form blog article, it would just generate the contents of this article instead of actually generating the text. And so here's the result from Article Forge. It actually looks pretty nice. Three sections, as I asked. However, I can't see any examples. I'm going to spend a few minutes reviewing the output. Now that I analyzed the output from both services, let me share my insights. Although at first the article from Article Forge seemed pretty good, and when I started to read it, it turned out to be very, very boring. It often repeats itself, stating the same facts. I just kept removing paragraphs one after one. 
And I actually understood I'm not going to be using it. I took a few paragraphs from the output generated by Article Forge, but overall I used the content from Copy AI almost exclusively. It seemed like it was tailored to my prompt and it also contained a lot of facts. Yet these examples were too general and I ended up double checking them on the official Ralph Lauren website. One of the reasons I'm not using ChatGPT for my content is because it produces a lot of factual mistakes, errors, very challenging to use it when it comes to examples. Whenever you're comparing two products, one thing to keep in mind is pricing. Copy AI is $36 a month. It doesn't have any limitations as to number of keywords or number of prompts. Last time I purchased it though, it was a 40% discount. Currently not available anymore. Article Forge is $13 a month, but it has a limitation of 25,000 words. And as far as I'm concerned, if you generate the same prompt twice, it's going to count it as a separate request. If you don't like the output, for instance, 25,000 words for me would translate to 10 articles a month, which is pretty good. I don't use more anyway, but of course you could increase the number of words and choose another plan. Summary. When I first decided to create this video, I was thinking that Article Forge is this mind-blowing thing. And it turned out to be true to some extent. I definitely love the experience they provide. One of the best I've seen because it's so simple. After I registered, it took me three minutes to understand how to generate an article there. It's suitable for complete beginners with no experience uh, working with AI. And it's actually a great product for this segment. I totally love that Article Forge educates you how to create long form content. It's a pity this content can be longer than 1500 because I would love it to be at least 2,500. However, from what I see, there are a few tools that allow you to generate content of this length. With Copy AI, I've been using this product for months, but I have no idea how to use it actually. The only thing I'm using is this chat. I'm sure there is a lot of great stuff there. I'm just not educated to use it in my business processes. With Article Forge, I totally love the output first, but then as I dived into it, it was repeating itself in several places, which is not good. Um, the content, unfortunately, was too generic and lacked details. And it was unable to create the examples that I've been asking for in my prompt. Copy AI's output was much more useful and I basically used it for my article with just a few tweaks. Copy AI has this huge advantage that it can analyze the search engine results pages and render factual information. And for me, that's crucial. As to Article Forge, it just seems like a premium version of ChatGPT. Um, maybe I'll use them in the future. I don't know. Let's see. So I don't know. I actually feel good about the combination of the two products. My ideal product is still somewhere out there. You can find the links to both products in the description. And let me know which AI text generator you are using for your projects. Thanks for watching and see you next week.